real quick. This is my alt channel, and my main channel is in danger every day of getting banned as a result of talking with these amazing people very candidly. So please do me a favor and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. Get the hell on it, dog on it. Renee Galarza, I enjoy Anna and Lofty debating about AI art on Flash Gas. What is your uh, what is your opinion on AI art? Okay, so my opinion has changed significantly since uh, the beginning of it. So. I don't know, Lofty, a lot of people I see, it's not coming from an objective point of view. It's very much like these are my Fifi's point of view and artists are very sensitive. Yeah. And as one, like, you know, I I got the whole degree. I, I worked, I been around all of those people. And I'm like, AI art wouldn't be as popular as it is if there wasn't a demand for it. It just artists are kind of flaky and hard to work with. I know because I am one. And so I watched this four hour debate because everyone was, Everyone that I know in like real life was so mad at Shad. And it was just, it was amusing to me because I know Shad and they don't know that I know Shad. Yeah. But so I'm seeing it all over Twitter, like on his side. And then I'd open up Instagram and then my personal Facebook. And it would just be all these people I know freaking out about Shad. And I was like, all right, I'm going to look into this. So I watched all of Shad's videos. And then I watched this debate that him and Finna did. It was a four hour debate. And the only argument that Finna really had that was reoccurring was, well, you need the human experience to be able to create these things. And so I, I personally think if there's a tool that will help people, you should try to use it. And you can get into like the artificial intelligence and how the robots are going to take over the world. Yeah, that's yeah. bad. But if you can take somebody that's like mentally hand or not mentally, but physically handicapped, like they, they can't draw, they, they can't even move their body, but you give them a computer program and they can take what's in their mind and transfer it and make it, you know, a visual creation of that. That's great. And I use the example of Flash. Flash can't draw stick figures, but he's creating these really funny thumbnails and it's yeah. getting the idea in his head across. And so one of Finna's arguments was that he needed to learn how to like animate a snake tail because he was doing some kind of snake humanoid thing, kind of like a Medusa. And so he needed to see how these creatures moved. And so he spent weeks studying that and he argued that that's why ai art is bad because you could just put it into a computer program and then i was like well what about a doctor that is let's say you're the best doctor in a world about like i don't know a heart transplant and but you don't know how to like and people most people even though if you can't draw most people are visual learners like if you can see it you can do it kind of thing yeah. so what if somebody that's not artistically inclined at all completely left brain type of person and so let's let's take a heart surgeon he has best heart transplant doctor in the world and because he can't visually show you he puts all of his knowledge that he spent years getting into a computer program that's ai and an ai can create the visual step-by-step -step process on how to perform a heart transplant that's awesome yeah. And some people say that that's not art, but I'm telling you right now it is because I <laughs> I have worked and it, it's probably one of the most easiest jobs you can d get is uh, medical art. And that's basically you do all the drawings and like the book or Ikea level of like, this is a hand. These are the bones in the hand. And yeah, so it, it is art. Trust me. Yeah. But so d does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. So this is how I was looking at it um, because I am not an artist, although I used to, when I was a teenager and like a younger teenager, I was all about that shit. And I, I was, I feel like I was pretty decent, but, um, I used a lot of stuff for reference though. I couldn't freehand, I could not freehand something out of my mind unless I had drawn it a thousand times before. But when I think about art is, a, there's a lot of different things that is considered art. And a lot of people, when they, I feel like think about the subject matter, they're thinking of quite literally like pencil to paper or, you know, uh, pen to tablet. And the thing is, Art encompasses a lot of things. And I think yeah. to myself, a lot of like my favorite al albums from Devin Townsend, uh, the the drum models are completely generated like drum models that are not real. They're they're it's like a computer program called the uh, called professional drummer from back in the day. And it's a tool to get the drums into the mix that you need and you build around it. Is his music not considered art? No, that is no way in hell it's not because it's beautiful. It's crazy, like weird, abstract music. And that is also considered art. When you play music, you write music, it's considered art. And there's a lot of people that use a lot of programs to help them build a song. And a lot of times 
a lot of these instruments aren't even played. They're like completely used by like AI and they put the notes on a, a thing and it plays it for it and puts it in the mix for you. Is that not considered art now because you use something that's not, doesn't have a human element to it. And I, I there's just a lot of categories. I feel like this falls under and I'm sure Cecil will agree that uh, AI hey, um, tools are, are art. No, I don't. I think Anna's a retard. I was listening to her fucking... <laughs> and I have no artistic skill, but just as a consumer of art, it's... um. There's no gravitas. There's no... There's no... Uh, it, it's 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 disposable. It's pop music that's generated. Well, but it, see, that, that's formula, actually a perfect example, though. Cecil. What's that? That's a perfect example. It, you know, it's like pop style, music. It's so, but here, here's the thing. So... ACDC is a band. You take away a computer, they can still perform and create great music. Whereas you have somebody that's like a DJ, right? Like Calvin Harris. What he just stands there and presses a space bar because he already did the work on a computer. But people still like that. That's their thing. You know, some people, I don't know, like surrealism. Some people like traditional oil paintings. Computer, though. Even, if, even if you're assisted by a computer for music. I, the, the, the art thing is, it's just, it doesn't have any, it's valueless to me. And and even even though I do like you know some electronic music, at the end of the day, do I hold it the same value to it as I do like a tight metal band or something? Absolutely not. Back like, in my would, day, Cecil. It's, it's, Back it's, in my day, music was real. It's mm. no, no. Like I've I've listened. I lived in Clubland, so I I like electronic music. But to me, at the push comes to shove, do I put a value on it? Well, we're not do it. Argument no, isn't it. on if you value it or not, or the value to it. The argument is: is it art or not? It's valueless. It's I get yes, but that, that's by not the, broadest, the point of by it. The broadest definition it is, but it's it's valueless art. It's it's um. There's a lot of art that art. is valueless art, but it's still art. I I think if you are, yeah, if, you if, have if I splatter the side of my toilet bowl with fucking. Uh, <laughs> With some diarrhea. people might think that is, it's art. Is that art, Anna? Is it technic on a, on some, a broad You know scale? what? To yes. someone, yeah. to someone, it is. Okay. Like so, so example, was, for, I mean, um, yeah, like let's, let's, if let's you guys have ever taken the Rorschach too. test, that's not that's not typically supposed to be art. You know, with the ink spots, but some people have that up on their wall because they value it as art, even though that's not what it was meant for. I understand, and when I see people with like modern art, that's like basically used to launder money and they're <laughs> explaining it as fucking art i'm just i laugh at them and i i don't i don't value their opinion if somebody holds up a but, great but that's deal, all that this is this is just everyone's individual opinion on what they the think whole conversation about is about opinion of subject i know yes. Yeah. yes yes well would you consider hitler's landscape paintings art yeah, of course. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is, but you know. Yes, of course. That doesn't, but here's the thing. People, I feel like everyone, they just hear art and they think, oh, that means that it's good. It's no, not all art is good. Not all AI art is good, but there's some AI art out there that I think is good. Like Lofty was using the example, his brother can't move and he's creating Pokemon. I think that that's great that there's a tool out there that lets people. I don't want let, to strip it away. I'm just saying. It just I wouldn't want to strip it away and, and ban it or anything. Like I like that it exists, but it's just a tool. But it, it is a tool, like, just like a paintbrush like, is a tool, just like a stylus it's is a, a lower tool. level. It's a McMansion versus a castle that was carved by craftsmen. It's which one do you put more value on? Yeah, is it art? Is it yeah? Is that building? Yeah, it's a prefab thing. Fucking is everything sealed correctly? Not exactly. The join up is it plumb? Not exactly. But does it look nice? Oh yeah, it's you know, what, what's what's better, a, a prefab fucking you know McMansion or a well built structure with craftsmen? It's the same thing. They're both houses, right? Cecil, mm -hmm. is do you would you consider this art? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. Did you buy that from that strip club? <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it was on Google. It's called it's I I, I googled a uh, taint painting with ass. It's called a tainting. <laughs> and that I mean it does your ass has a, a individual shape that no one else. Eh, see, it's like a thumbprint. Every ass is unique, right? So therefore, you put some paint on it and sit on something, prefer preferably in my face. Opinions can be wrong, and Cecil is wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that some that some things that are built and made are are 
more valuable than others? That's well, funny. here's the thing when Photoshop came around, ah, uh oh, yeah, you broke I heard the exact, I heard the exact same argument with people that were, you know, oh, this is going to kill the entertainment industry, this is going to kill art for artists because of Photoshop and stylus and an undo button. That's not real art. And then we have our friend John Malin and all he does is digital art. Like John draws everything in Clip Studio. And then you have other people like Ethan or Shane that draw everything by hand. And so I, I think because it's the new tool and nobody really understands it completely. So everyone is afraid of it because Here's humans are inherently John afraid of it. And, uh, John and Shane, if you give them a piece of paper and a pencil, could they draw? Yeah. That's the difference between AI. I know, but it's the idea. Okay, so let me give an example. George Lucas can't draw, right? He he can't, but he has the idea in his head for Star Wars, right? So he went out and he found an artist, Ralph McQuarrie, and Ralph created all those images. But let's say George Lucas hadn't created American Graffiti and George Lucas was completely broke. And instead of having access to an artist, he can just pull up a computer program and generate those images and get his point across. Right. It's, so it's just a different that. tool. It's, no, that's a tool. That's fine. I know. It's a tool that is allowing him to express his ideas and his Everybody creativity. It's not a tool. Instead of using a human, he's using a computer. Uh, no one is saying it's not a tool that people can use that handicap people or people with no artistic skills. Well, no, that, that's so, what I'm saying. But I'm everyone saying is no everyone thing. is very personal about it. I'm just saying it's it's I understand it's a tool. I you know I'm, I may use it myself. I would never pass off anything i did as art that i created with an ai though like i would not i wouldn't call it art i would so just, but see, i think that's just a personal a like, generated image it. it's not you know i couldn't it, it takes a lot of hubris to be like i did this i made this. it's like you didn't come on you say well you see so you said if you gave uh john um or shane like a pencil well, Shane already they, draws everything traditionally. Right. If you gave them, or if you gave John a, a, a pencil and a paper, he could draw. Therefore, it's that's the difference. So you're saying if if EBS uh, just you started using AI art, would it still be art? AI or or uh, drew on tablets and did computer AI. complete? No, it wouldn't be art. No. Okay. I was just, I was just, I mean, trying to... I mean, in a technical sense, yes, it would be art just as what I would make when an AI would be art, but what would be the point of becoming um, like it, it's, it's, it's worthless art because it's, if, if everybody could do, it doesn't have a value, but, but that's the thing. Not everybody can do it. So I, I had who never used an AI. Hold, hold on. I had never used an AI program and I was like, all right, I have, you know, a lot Word. of experience doing these things. It was absolute hell in the time that I even it's such a pain in the ass just to even get it to do anything in the time it took me to do that i could have done a completely rendered drawing yeah but once you learn color. anybody can learn it is what i'm saying not everybody could learn to oil well, paint it, like you cecil do. anyone can learn photoshop but i bet you you can't draw the same level that john can uh no but but it wouldn't look the same i can with what i'm saying is you're an artist uh ethan's an artist so people and at the end of the day, if we all t studied AI art for the same amount of time, we would all be putting out the same level of art, even though I have absolutely no artistic skill. But it's the that's idea. That's why it's valueless art. It's, it's your idea that's the creative you know, building block to that. You're just using a tool. So if all of us had the exact same skill level in using this tool, at the end of the day, it would be whose idea was the best one. Oh, then I'd be the best. <laughs> but don't you see how that can also be valuable? I I just think that people are afraid if of. Had, uh, let's be honest. If you ever had, if you ever had an original idea, it would die of loneliness. Let's be honest. I know, but that's fine. Thanks.